Beauregard Ripley here on the south side of downtown Dayton, Ohio. Thursday, a high noon, June the 10th. We're going to go to the Packard Museum. America's Rolls Royce. So the, the Packard was uh, originally um, manufactured in Warren, Ohio, which is a couple hundred miles north. And then, uh, so over here to Dayton is like an hour away, but I'm not really familiar. And so uh, I don't have a lot of good advice. I'm parked over here. I read reviews and um, they say plentiful parking. I, I didn't see that. I don't know what. Um, I saw a documentary on, um, it was a, um, National Geographic. This is a one-way street here, Ludlow. Um, the documentary sucked, basically, um, 45 minutes. It was okay, but, uh. We're gonna go ahead in here. I'm not sure if that'll show up or not. 19 and 19. A couple brothers started it. Packard's brothers. Check out the old doors. This is an original Packard dealership here in Dayton, Ohio, which was affluent because of the Wright brothers and the patents. People from all over the world came to Dayton, Ohio with all the money from Europe. They came over here to make money. Lots of money. One of these cars costs as much as a, a large farm. This engine here is a V16, and it's not a Merlin, but is it showing up? The P51 Mustang was powered by a Packard, Packard engine, and the Packards were bought out by uh, Joy. Well, what happened was, it's kind of the first case of buyer's remorse, and they bought a car when they first come out, and they're like 19, you know, bought a Chimajiggy, and the car broke down a dozen times between Detroit and Warren, Ohio. So they wrote a letter or contacted the owner of the manufacturer and they said, you know, if you think you can do better, make your own. And so they did, and it wasn't even a couple years, uh, they sold shares and the controlling interest was, was in theirs. They were still in the company for who knows how long, but, um, a joy bottom and they were in the mining business this guy's on a turntable double windshield and I seen that Jaguar at that British car show and it reminded me of the 101 down nations car oh you can see a bit uh, 1935 um, Albertville Alabama fire plug Buick so this is an original dealer for Packard. Um, so you wouldn't go in here dressed like I, I am. I think there's, I've seen people going in. Um, we're going in there to, uh, yeah, see this guy is parked over here. He, did, he didn't have very good for the shredded guy. Probably very few dealerships around. This is the only one in the world, guys. Chance of a lifetime. Pretty close to my house, too, and I just dropped what I was doing, and I'm going to do this today. That was part of their service center, too. We're going in there. So, if we're going to go electric versus internal combustion, where's the electric going to come from? It takes a lot of power to, to power something like that down the road 70 miles an hour. People have all these ideas, you know, they just pull them out of their ass. There's a Caribbean. So they were into the engine making big time, proficient. Uh, this is a good lesson on uh, businesses. This is the auto parts store, I suppose. They're friendly enough to. There's a four hour parking on this street. This is a Catholic school. Kind of a modern Art Deco. But yeah, the aircraft engines are in here. Who knows what all companies came from that. So we sold ours. We had one uh, uh, it's a 50s. 
and uh, so they're around uh, we're seeing them around Ohio we'll try to make it up to um, Warren sometime uh, I've been up there before not to the museum though this is the US 35 busy US 35 it's kind of a funky interchange there but we're over here at the Packard Museum ready to tour the indoors of it uh, my understanding is the admission is pretty reasonable but they operate on donations and uh, pretty limited hours right now my Honda uh, museum's been closed for like over a year everything's just been and sad so this is sort of the grand reopening too and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to run my mouth a whole lot in there any more than I have to it's gonna be hard to stay quiet though. Thanks for watching everyone. Burger Ripio over here, south side of Dayton, downtown Dayton, Ohio. Um, Citizens Motor Car dealership.